hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to s extract text from image uh, using vision kit in expo react native for ios so this is ios specific only for expo react native apps uh, so yeah let's get started uh, obviously uh, we uh, like again uh, firstly i am uh, on this particular url and here you will have to select a template so i am using this uh, blank typescript template but feel free to use whatever you feel like so this is how you can run uh, the command using the blank typescript template so i will just paste it in my workspace now it will create an app for me the reason i am using this blank typescript template is it gives a minimum boilerplate code i will just give my app some name suppose uh, uh, i don't know uh, my app to because i already have my app that's why i'm creating my app too uh, now also the template has typescript support that's why uh, it's better now i will just open this uh, so this is my project right so i'll just copy this and i will open it inside vs code now we will have to write native code for this uh, so here you can see it does not have the ios folder created uh, now we will first have to create this ios folder so for that we will have to go to this particular url uh, like I told you, this is iOS specific only. Uh, now, first we'll have to select this iOS device over here. Here in development, we'll select development build and disable this ES because I want to run my app locally. I have already installed Xcode as well as command line tools. So I'm not going into that. I've already installed Watchman as well. And this brief update also is done. Now we'll have to run this particular command. So I'll just copy this. Uh, okay, my NPM install for my project is still going on. So I'll just wait for this to get complete okay so it is complete i will just cd to my app to i will just run this particular command again this will do some uh, this npm installation stuff uh, so yeah again uh, just be patient and it will do its stuff then we'll have to copy this particular command so this will actually create the ios folder as well as this particular command will take a little bit of time to run so i'll just paste it uh, first it will ask me for a bundle identifier i'll keep everything as default if you want you can change it i have just clicked on enter again it will create the ios directory and it will do all the coco pod installation stuff now the next thing which we have to do is we'll have to create an uh, module native module in that we will write the code we will not write the code inside the main ios folder the main ios folder is necessary uh, so to create that we'll have to go to this particular url so i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here so here you can see that uh, we'll have to run this particular command but i'll just wait for this to get finished once that is finished i'll come back again okay so my cocopod installation is done and it is asking me to run it on my device or my simulator i don't want to run it now so i'll just press ctrl c then i will come over here and i'll just copy this command and paste it over here now it again it will ask me some questions so i'll keep everything as default as i don't want to change anything and i'll just click on enter 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 so enter 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 feel free to change it if you want to uh, now here you can see it has created this module but again we have to run this pod installation command because we need to know coco pod that we have another native module created so just run this particular command again this will take time that is fine now i have created one uh, sample project for which i will be copying a lot of code so here is my sample project i'll explain it to you as i copy along this code so i'll just copy this and i will now go to my app.tsx and i will change it over here i'll paste it over here so basically what we are doing is that i have imported this use effect and use state as well as this text and touchable opacity from react native then here i am importing our module which we had just created and we will have to, this add change listener is by default present in whenever you create an expo native module now we'll have to create a method called extract text from image uh, which we will create shortly and here you can see whenever i'm able to extract something from an extract text from an image i will use this add change listener to send that data back from native ios side to react native side that's why i'm constantly listening for this and whenever i get a value i just up, uh, add it to our set value now be careful you will constantly get value if there are multiple text inside your uh, image so instead of using this as a string you can use an array of string and append it append that data but i have kept things simple uh, but here i am lo logging all the console so even if there is a uh, multiple text in my uh, image uh, or from my live feed 
uh, I can extract that uh, easily. Uh, okay, then here is our touchable opacity button and on click of it, I just call this extract text from image. Okay, and here is our text which we will display that particular value. Now the first thing if before I forget, you will have to go to the main iOS folder, go to my app to go to info.plist and here we will have to add this camera permission. So I'll just go to my practice project and I will just add that camera permission over here. I'll scroll down and I'll just copy this. Okay, I'll scroll down over here and I'll paste it over here. Okay, so I've added the camera permission. Uh, okay, now the next thing is we'll have to create this particular method, right? So again, I'll just go to my practice project. I'll go to this modules, my module. And here I have to go to index.ts and here i will just copy this so inside your project what you will have to do i'll just minimize this ios go to modules index.ts and just paste this particular command so here you can see we are creating a method called extract text from image and we'll have to create this particular method on native ios side as well now here you can see the error inside app.tsx is gone so basically inside index.ts you will have to add this particular code all right this is done then i'll go to the ios uh, folder uh, and firstly I'll just open this my module dot swift and here I'll open this my module dot swift okay so first what we'll have to do is we'll have to import vision kit as well as vision so I'll just copy this and paste it over here next uh, is we'll have to create this particular uh, NS object uh, we can't directly extend this VN document camera view controller delegate to this particular module it will give you an error that's why I will just create this. I'll just copy this and then I'll explain it to you. So I'll just create this separate class. So as you can see, we are creating this separate class which extends from VN document camera view controller delegate. And here uh, once whenever a document has scanned, we have this particular callback. This callback will get called inside this my module, which I will come back shortly on. And here we are overriding this particular method. And whenever uh, something has been captured, uh, we just try to extract something out of it and if there is a uh, text out of it here you can see we just call this callback if no then i just click, uh, do this logging uh, but yeah if you want to send uh, the callback for no uh, nothing has been displayed then you can do that as well and here we create this request and on a background thread we start scanning for uh, text and here you can see i have hard coded it for the first image only but if you want to scan multiple array of images, then you will have to do your own logic or do a for loop, something like that. And here we just start performing that particular request. Uh, then here is our, so here we just initialize our controller as well as delegate. So I will just copy this. So this controller VN document view controller is this one from vision kit, which we require. And this VN document delegate is this class, which we have created. Then again, I'll just call copy this on create method which we need so again i'll scroll down and i'll just copy this on create method so here you can see we are i'm just setting the delegate to our document delegate then again i'll just scroll down and i'll just copy this function and i think that should be it so i'll just come over here just scroll down and here you can see that i'm just pasting it over here so we i the name should be the same what you have defined inside index.ts and uh, on the main thread we just uh, start uh, looking for this on document scan callback once we have a data we send it back to react native side so here you can see even in this boilerplate method which they have created this is how they are sending data so i'm using the same same one only the value has been changed and this is how we present the uh, camera to start uh, scanning for uh, images so yeah that's it on the code level part so i'll just simply scroll through this in case if you got confused uh, feel free to pause the video wherever you feel like and uh, just copy paste all the code which i have written uh, yeah sorry about the bad indentation but now i will just uh, obviously i'll have to run it on a real ios device so i'll just run it on a real ios device and show you guys the output so here is the output uh, my app running on a real device and i'll just open some image so here uh, here you can see there is some image with some text on it i will just click on the scan button and it is asking me for camera permission i'll click on allow 
and I will here you can see it has automatically captured the image for me I'll just click on save if you want to keep on capturing you can do that but as you remember I have hard coded the zero index in my native iOS code right that's why I won't uh, capture multiple images but if you want you can capture multiple images as well I'll just click on the save button and uh, here you can see actually uh, it uh, it did uh, scan the image but here you can see it just copied the add text to image and here you can see this this particular part it uh, captured uh, so yeah it's and if i show you the console logs uh, here you can see it has captured a bunch of things so that's why i told you like uh, it's better you uh, take an array instead of a string but here you can see that is the last string which it has captured which is showing it over here sorry for the yellow color it is not really visible but hopefully you got the point what i'm trying to make uh, yeah that's it thank you for watching bye